I have not said anything since the beginning of the tragedy. I don't call it a conflict because it is an all out war of the tragedy that has happened uh, ongoing now in, between Israel and Palestine. And the reason I have not done that is because rather than myself say anything, it is more appropriate that we hear from our church. This was given on the 8th of October, but uh, I've got delayed in finding it here. Uh, a statement by His All Holiness, the Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew, talking or speaking about the tragic events that, occurring, that are now occurring in the Middle East. So I think this is important for us to hear. Uh, and his words are, we are deeply grieved by the news coming from the suffering Middle East and we mourn the souls taken during these tragic events. And may God's embrace comfort the grieving families. Our thoughts and prayers are particularly with the civilians who experience painful moments of anguish, terrorized by the sounds of sirens and imminent threat of explosions. And especially with all the innocent children who deserve to get raised in a truly promised land of peace and prosperity. Amid anger and destruction, amid evil and bitterness, human beings are easily tempted to think and to act violently. And while many deem violence as necessary means of dispute resolution, we can never see it as part of God's good creation, nor can we as Orthodox ever approve the use of violence to pursue peace. Instead, we must look back to that good that God first created and to the perfect peace to which he desires us to go, exhorting with the psalmist, depart from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. And besides, the struggle for peace is not only a divine commandment, but only also a universal value and essential precondition for the respect and the protection of human dignity. And as is appropriate, our ecumenical patriarch speaks to the anguish that is suffered by both sides. And, uh, and as Orthodox, we are saddened by the losses of both sides. We are not partisan in the idea that we side with one and then we see the other as enemy, or we see only the enemy and then we support the aggression against that particular enemy. So it is only appropriate from the Orthodox perspective that prayers go out to the anguish and to the suffering of those innocent people on both sides of this horrendous tragedy.